Hey guys, it's me, Mini Fluffy One, and welcome back to Let's Play Coder 2. Now, I know I said I only had one chance to upload today, and that was um, not as true as I thought it would be. So here we are, and I've, I'm still uploading this game because I feel like might as well do it right, you know? Like I feel kind of dumb. Just uploading 13 minutes of con uh, content. So we're gonna get rolling uh, down into the mining tunnels. And we're just gonna get some stuff done. So I guess. Uh, I wish I could merge videos. And I shouldn't have. I, I should have waited to see what happens, but here we go! Emergency hatch into the mining tunnels. Despite the best efforts of the people who have us stuck here, we're making progress. Time to Can you read me? Barely. There's a lot of static. There's a lot of interference down there. Probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragas fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. I'll be careful, then. If you detect anything, signal me. Will do. And be careful down there. Plasteel cylinder. Minor uniform, med pack, surveyor. Yay! Clothes. Finally clothes. Survey gear. And this is definitely more important than safety harnesses. You know. Find the emergency supplies? Yes, yes. Yes, it looks like there's some clothes in here. Damn it. Oh, uh, I mean, good. Good to hear it. No sense in you running around half naked. It's. It's distracting. I mean, for the droids. Look, there may be some survey <laughs> gear and a safety harness inside the crate, too. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. There's some kind of mining energy shield in this crate, too. Yeah, it's like a military-issue energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. It should work against the droid mining lasers. It won't last forever, and certainly not against multiple laser hits. But it may buy you some time if you get ambushed by a battalion of droids. Sounds useful. How do I use it? Just equip it on your wrist, and then you can activate it like a med pack. Again, it won't last forever, so make it count. That was... Slightly... Immersion breaking. That was pretty... That, that was a slight fourth wall break. Just equip it on your wrist and activate it like a... Yeah. Anything else? Uh, just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. Can I sneak by them? You could, if you have the skill in a stealth field generator. These droids rely on thermal sensors, primarily to detect fuel deposits. The good thing is, that explosion down there kicked up so much heat and steam it may blind them. A bit, but not much. And if they do spot me? Well, these are construction models. They shoot like a moisture farmer militia. Since they rely on ranged weapons, get in close with a melee weapon and start bashing them. In close combat, the guy with the vibro blade has the edge over the guy with the rifle, droid or not. Otherwise, just drill them from a distance. If they're not shielded, that is. I can handle it. Just, uh, I'll do that. Anything else? There's gotta be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence. Governing intelligence. Components, parts. Let's just search through, make sure there's nothing for me to deselect. See, look. I've selected everything I've looked, but it still does that, and I hate it. Someone please tell me how to fix that. Alright. Time to get ready. I have an actual gun. Finally. Watch where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines down there. Dude, Don't right when I'm about to say to. something. Makes them harder to spot. If 
you have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them against the droids. That is, if the mines don't get you first. If you have survey gear or a safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. Why are there so many charges down here? Those mining droids, especially the excavator models, are designed to arm and set sonic charges for mining. Chances are if they still had charges after they went rogue, then they may have set them to try and kill the miners. And you. If you see one of those excavators, watch out. They may use their undeployed charges as projectiles. Understood. Meet your Cirque out. Let's try and recover, but if it doesn't work, I can just disable them. Oh, hey, it worked. Good. I don't remember if I have, uh... I can use stun droid to blow up the mines. That's a very interesting. Stun droid is basically a droid shock arm, but for me as a person. Sonic charges. Oh, broken droid. Let's search it up. Look at some things. Get items. And let's go this way. Damaged. Right. No, I'm not going to waste my parts. I'm just going to leave the droid alone. Shielded? Yup. Boop. Boop. They're not shielded, so I'm going to blast them. The other one is shielded, so I'm going to slash him. Slash. Hey. Get over here. Thank you for your noble contribution. And by noble contribution, I mean thanks for dying, loser. Time to get the jump on him. Yup, instant kill. Power blast on an unshielded mining droid is stupid powerful. Especially from short range. Yeah, no, I know. There's nothing in the broken droid because it's broken. Alright, alright. Nope. Get back here. Nope. You're gonna. He's gonna die first. Thank you for dying, stupid face. Alright, that, this is going really... Where? Oh. Stun droid. Saved? How? Tell me again how this droid has a good enough saving throw to stop a force power. Just die. I'll, I'll deal with that garbage for now. Okay, level up. Jedi Guardian level 3. Skills. What does it recommend? More treat injury? No. Uh, two, three. Now I have four of all and one six stuff. That's much better use, okay? Alright. Feats. So I already got Strunk. And I got Condish. So, was I gonna get Gearhead or Empathy or. Uh. Persuade Awareness Tree? Okay, that's actually really important. Powers! Okay. Stun. Wound. Slow. Fear. Shock might be good. Force push for lightsabers useless. Force scream. Mind trick. These things that I'll forget to use. Plus two bonus to defense and all saving throws effect lasts for 20 seconds. Power increase physical attributes and saving throws of Jedi and all party members. Power shields to Jedi and the Force absorbing the first six energy sun and fiery cold. Okay, this is actually really good. It's Force body. Use their own health to fuel Force powers. Jesus. Effect mind. Persuasive use. All right. Only the main character. Yeah, okay. Got it. At least we're in clothes now. Ooh. Energy shield. Paragus mining shield. That's different than the... Right? That's... No, I just have to... Okay, well... Little... 
So we have... Nope, that's not right. Well, I don't think I actually picked one of the powers that can be selected from there, so it's fine. Anyways... Oh yeah, baby. Advanced mining laser. 1 to 12. Screw this. We're getting the advanced mining laser instead of the heavy blaster. More powerful. Hey, watch oh, out. Yeah, this. That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, switch it on. It should protect you against the heat if you move quickly enough. Understood, Mitra Surik out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. Ah, yes. Immunity. Oh, crap. Power blast. Nope, nope, get away. Nope. Okay, listen. Alright, listen. Listen! I'm fully aware of the droids in the distance. There is potential that I can pass them by and go down that hall real quick. Like I said, potential. There's nothing. I want to try and recover all these binds first just so the droids don't accidentally set anything off. So here we go, disabling the mines. I know my commentary isn't the best, I'm a little distracted at the moment, sorry about that. Chemicals, good. Stuff to make more med packs later. Once I reach the other section. And here we go. Big boy battle. You want to mess with me? Mess with me then. Good luck to this. Bang. Cancel combat. Switch. Destroy. Really? You, mi you missed a hovering droid? Okay, seriously? You just stab it! Jesus. Okay, thank you. Ooh. Uh, crafting part. Nice. That's that's pretty cool, actually. Let's just do that. So it un selects the thing. He's dead. You're getting close to something big. I think it's the main ventilation shaft. If so, the central droid controller should be somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out for it. I'm picking up a lot of droids. If you still have a mining energy shield, I'd equip it and switch it on. Okay. Uh, there aren't just mining droids down here. There are sensor balls, too. Sensor? It must be maintenance drones. Uh, watch out. Those little pests will try to repair the mining droids if you don't gun them down first. Still, it's odd they're still active after the explosion. They don't have the same shielding as the mining droids. Be careful of those droids. I don't like this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Any chance of sneaking by the droids sure. ahead? If you have a stealth... Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. He just mentions the same thing about a stealth field generator. Also, uh, excavator droid, get wrecked. Dang, he activated his shield. Well, sucks for him. Good thing I'm really good. Kill him one shot, please. Yes! Didn't even have time to activate the shield. Power blast from really far away. Ooh, energy cell. Upgrade part. Power blast from really far away is incredibly underrated. There's nothing there for me to use. Loot the corpse. Lots of stuff. This is going to be real handy once I actually have all the different party members to use it. 
Unlock security symbols. Ah, I haven't crafted any spikes and I could have. That's right. Access fuel containment functions. Shut down containment fields. So there's that. Return the main functions. Call up droid command functions. Do I have the spikes? Uh, this will overwrite all current commands on droids. Yes! Organic mining countermanded. Mining protocols cancelled. Thank you. I'm just gonna kill them for the parts, but now they won't fight back. No, wait, 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 wait. There's a much more intelligent way to bash things than by shooting it at point blank range, and it's with the plasma torch. Dang broken items. Unfortunate. Those are actually kind of useful crafting parts, by the way. They make it out to be completely useless. But there is a certain advantage, and I have... Oh, they're not even compatible. Scavenge the droid for spare components. Yeah. Examine the unit's behavior core. It looks as if some recent modifications have made... This vocabulator. These droids will no longer accept commands from any member of the mining facility except one. The ID designation matches the maintenance officer for this facility. Huh. Check last received commands. It looks as if their mining protocols have been set to mine or any organics and any non-authorized droids in the facility. If this is the case, then the mining droids have likely wiped out everyone and everything in the facility. Interesting. There's a bit more story as to what's going on, and I got some components which I cannot wait to use. I am going to take all of these droids apart for spare components. Because that's just useful. So, I'm gonna just, yep, thank you for your components. This is really helpful. Free stuff from every droid. These components will go a long way. I believe that's the way out, so I'm gonna go this way. And continue just salvaging these droids. Thank you. Then I can salvage these droids. I've never actually done that before because I've never had the computer spikes to do it. Until now. I know I'm never gonna see this map again for this particular area, but it still bugs me to not have it all explored. Oh, you have already scavenged the droid, no components left. Scavenge this one. And we're gonna scavenge you if I can get past the thing, please. Please let me scavenge you. Scavenge. Okay, and actually I want to press M. Let's look at the map. So that is... Turbo lift to the administration level. That's interesting. Oh, I see. So this goes back there. That's the way I see. Yep. Because the walls are closed in. It's broken, basically. Components and a computer spike! Thank you. I have ten. I have 10 now, f 10 computer spikes from salvaging all those droids, or was it components? I can't quite remember. Let me around you! Uh. These guys are being jerks. This doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna insta open that door with a plasma torch. Bash it open. Bop! Oh, wait, that's, uh, oh. Which way is which? Which way is... Dang it, I like exploring all the area before I get stuck in the... Interesting. Have I already scavenged you? Nope. Thanks for the parts. Yeah, picking up some strange reading. I go the wrong way every time. Trust you, whatever you've detected, it's probably my fault. Out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels. 
How much time do I have? I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick, because where you are is going to get real hot real soon. Joke's on you, because it actually doesn't. I have unlimited time to just meander around. So that's fun. I always love... I wish... To raise the stakes, they would have made it, you know, more valuably timed. But they didn't, and now here we are. Okay, I'm gonna go this away. Because I believe this is all just salvaging areas, and it is, which I would prefer. To be fair, it doesn't punish you for going the wrong way. There's something back there. It's like a guy and he has some weapon, some special mine or something. I can't exactly remember. It's a good thing I have good skills in this area. Corpse. Ah yes, the heavy mining laser. Cardio these this is nice. Heavy mining laser. Oh yeah, already upgrading my gun. It's huge. A mining laser is huge. And that's not a euphemism. It's just a fact. It's like the distance of her leg down, her thigh downwards is this mining laser and I find that to be hilariously large. Almost comical. If it fades through the floor, then it would be comical. Okay, seriously, you gotta move. Components, please. Thank you. Can I, can I just, like, rip you apart? Oh, it does nothing. That's sad. I wanted to rip it apart. For stuffs. Cover the mine. We're gonna blast open that container, because it's broken. We're not gonna waste a deadly sonic mine on a freaking container. That'd be crazy. Stay away. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't take any damage. Thank you for the damage. Cylinder. Nothing exploded, which is cool. Cardioregulator. Basic ionite edge. You know, you'd think when you scavenge it for components it dies, but it doesn't. I, I literally ripped this droid open and it's just fine. Ooh, a corpse! Battle stimulants and chemicals. Nice. Alright, rip you. Uh, in more ways than one, because I'm ripping you open. Rip you. And I'm gonna open you as well. If I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna get stuck in a thing. It's just in case I want to make a new save slot. Just in case the recording is broken as well. And we're gonna go in. I think I might get locked into a conversation here, but that's fine. Yep, I will get locked into a conversation. A very long one. A very long one. It oh is a boy. pleasure to see you alive, Master. Provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be These assistance? guys are funny. How do you know me? I'm not your master. Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Who is your previous master? Answer. The captain of the Harbinger, Master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. What happened? Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. Why don't you tell me anyway? Hesitant explanation. 
That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. How come I don't remember any of this? Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. Locked? Clarification. By locked, I meant sealed, Master. Right. My vocabulator seems to be I'm sure that's what it is. You said I was incapacitated. When was all this going on? Clarification. Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor from which you could not awaken. Most curious. Drugged? What do you mean, drugged? Placation. Merely a turn of phrase, Master. The implication that your state was due to the result of ingesting large quantities of Juma juice was unintentional. Oddly specific. I meant to communicate only that you were somehow rendered unconscious before you were locked securely. There it is again, the locked. Hole. There, you said locked again. Clarification by locked. Fine, what happened next? Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences <laughs> that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger's systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger's systems began to go critical. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. Any idea what it attacked the small freighter? Evaluation. Master, I do not know. Judging from the damage, it had been attacked by a much larger vessel. And when it attempted to escape the Harbinger with you on board, it was fired on again. Addendum. It does seem odd that such a small vessel has a high probability of attracting the attention of much larger vessels. Not a welcome trait in a freighter, to be sure. <laughs> what was this freighter that the Harbinger brought on board? Explanation. I believe it was a smuggler's vessel by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Speculation. As to its purpose, I do not know. Perhaps it was always its intention to play dead, then kidnap you off the Harbinger and rob me of my bounty. Bounty? Clarification. By bounty, right. I refer to your life, Master. It would pain me to see you damaged in any way. That is why the arrival of this Ebon Hawk caused me considerable distress. And the Ebon Hawk came here. Apology. My memory core cannot provide a clear answer on that point, Master. Suffice to say that once we arrived at this floating rock, our situation became much clearer. How so? Explanation. Despite my market value, Master, the miners were far more interested in you. It did not take long for me to ascertain the reason for this. While an HK protocol droid is a valuable piece of property, Jedi are worth much more in certain exclusive markets across the galaxy. Painful admission. I must confess to feelings of inferiority at the speculated difference between my value and the price for your capture. I was forced to remind myself it was not due to a failing of my model or function, but because you were a Jedi. And how did they find out I was a Jedi? Surprised answer. Why, I told them, Master. You are the exiled Jedi who served with Revan in the Mandalorian Wars, are you not? I hope all that has happened has not been the result of a miscommunication. If so, then the problem lies with the core word databases, which are notoriously spotty. Unpleasantness? What are you talking about? Answer. All that has happened has been because they believe you to be a Jedi Master. 
They debated what to do with you as you lay unconscious in the medical bay. One group seemed intent on selling you as property. The other group opposed this. Then what happened? Three standard hours after the division between the miners became apparent, accidents began to occur throughout the facility. A result of improper maintenance, I believe. These accidents coincided with the degradation of the mining droid behavioral cores. Crude models are prone to such failures, resulting in murderous rampages. The mortality rate of organics in the facility rose quickly. So what happened to the rest of the miners? Many miners began to join you in the medical bay as a cascade of flawlessly timed detonations occurred in isolated gas pockets in the lower levels of the facility. The explosions herded the miners into emergency sections of the station quickly and efficiently, cutting them off from communications and facility control. But sadly enough, not the ventilation systems. Sadly enough? What do you mean? You see, the explosions had damaged <coughs> specific sections of this facility's ventilation systems, causing a slow, lethal buildup of toxic fumes in the dormitory level. Are you responsible for all this? Defensive answer. Master, I am a protocol droid, not a well-crafted assassination droid of unrivaled sophistication. To have carried out the actions that took place here would have required an unusual set of skills. It is highly unlikely I possess the knowledge of how to reprogram the memory cores of base worker class droids into killing machines, let alone to terminate the organics at this facility, utilizing only Aerotech 500 series laser mining drills and explosives fashioned from proton missile cores. I think you are responsible. Admission. I cannot and will not attempt to change your mind, Master. I would urge you to consider that your Colto tank treatments may have caused some disorientation. Do you know who administered the sedatives to the Colto tanks in the medical bay? Killing the incapacitated miners? Conjecture. The administration of a large dose of sedatives over a short period of time would likely prove fatal to miners, although not to a Jedi. For a Jedi, it would simply render them unconscious for ease of transport. Quite inventive. Is that pride I hear in your voice? Answer. I was merely commenting on the idea itself, Master, not the execution of the idea. Though that, too, was inventive. Besides, Master, those miners intended to murder you. Or worse. Any complaints they would have at being murdered would be the highest form of hypocrisy. <laughs> I've heard enough. I'll be going now. That was a monologue. But we got through it. There's a lot of history. So, thank you all for watching. Do almost hit load game. That would have been bad. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on all my new content. Have a nice day. Peace.